So I'm going to Honduras for 110 days and I released a trailer two minute video about it but I wanted to release this to tell a little bit more details about what that looks like. First off, I'm gonna be making videos. There's really three different ministries that I'm gonna be working with. One deals with getting women out of sex trafficking. The, the second one that I'm gonna be working with is one that helps and builds and equips them to be business owners, be leaders, be people in Honduras who are making an impact for the kingdom of God and for their country. Daniela, uh, the girl that I'm dating, which I'll talk a little bit more about later, uh, came out of TLC and was able to impact so many people, <laughs> including me, and I'm in America, and so I I'm so excited to be working with that ministry. And the third one is Casa de Luz. That's the ministry that I've traditionally gone down to help in Honduras. Ed and Val are um, kind of like my second family there in Honduras. I can't say enough good things about Ed and Val and their ministry, Casa de Luz. And traditionally what they do in the past, pre-COVID-19, is they have have kind of like a daycare with kids can go in and get food, education about Jesus, supplementing stuff from the public school um, to help them with homework or to help them learn more than what the schools are actually teaching them. And then also to help with the parents and the family relationships and to bring in the parents and teach the parents how to love their children and how to have a healthy family environment. And then also it helps uh, women and children if they need any legal system help. And, and so there's that was amazing. But then with COVID, they kind of had to change a little bit and do a smaller scales stuff but also they started doing food distributions and so last time that i was in honduras we were doing tons and tons and tons of food distributions um i think they did like a hundred and fifty thousand tons of food or something like that it, it was crazy massive and just to be a part of that last year just just for a little bit and capture that was incredible and in what god was doing and also to have worked with some of these ministries in the past. I'm just excited. And God's going to have me be able to share not just missionary organization stories, but also individual stories. People who have been impacted by God and who are living out what he's doing. I'm just so excited about that. Also, I'm super excited because I'm officially dating a young woman named Daniela in Honduras. I'm sure if you follow me at all, you've seen little bits and pieces here and there. Daniela is such an incredible woman. Like I mentioned, uh, she is actually one of the people who, who graduated from TLC and um, is living out um, what it looks like to be a leader, uh, a passionate Christ follower. And <laughs> I couldn't be more proud of her. She is the team lead for the Zambrano ministry of Casa de Luz. Uh, that's kind of how I've gotten to know her. I've been friends with her for around three years. The last time I was there, we kind of hit it off and we said, you know, what? we're going to pray about it for the next six, seven months. Uh, we didn't put a timeline on that, but that's about the time that I was praying for us. And then I decided, you know what? I feel like the Lord's leading me towards this. And so I didn't have all the answers down, but I said, you know what, Lord, I'm going to follow you. So we started dating. And I'm just excited because I'm dating an incredible woman who is passionate about God and passionate about the things that I'm passionate about. And though there's a lot of logistical things to figure out, I literally couldn't be like more happy because one of the biggest things that I love about her is just her, her passion for Christ and her serving people and loving people. And her heart is so pure and kind. It just makes me happy. So, friends, how can you help? Well, if the Lord is calling you to help me out financially, that would be great. But the biggest thing that I am asking for is prayer. Being gone for 110 days is a long time. And bringing all the expensive equipment that I've used. and God, God has given me all this incredible equipment to capture life with. And I want to give that right back to him and say, Lord, here I am with my equipment. Um, use me, lead me as you would have. But there's also some level of risk. Um, you can be praying for the Honduran elections. They will be happening on November 28th. 
and the country will probably be in crisis for the first week or so. I am also a little bit nervous. There are some challenging details to figure out in terms of logistics of traveling and safety and making sure that all the equipment that I have is safe and um, lots of random hidden things that come up and it's like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. You can be praying for Danielle and I. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things to figure out culturally and just um, I'm going to travel and see her family for a week, which will be wonderful. But there's also that level of my Spanish not being quite where I want it to be and the cultural differences and knowing that I want to put God first in the relationship, in my trip, in my life, with my camera gear. And sometimes it's in super intimidating to do that. And I know God can work, and He is working, and I've seen His blessings. Um, Cornerstone Church, the church that I go to, decided to support me, and that was incredible. I didn't even ask them to do that, and they, they said, you know what, Andrew? We believe in you. Moreover, we believe in what God is doing in and through you. And to have people say that and for me to know, okay, God, you're showing up left and right. And I get scared sometimes. I get scared. I feel like sometimes I'm not worth it or I'm, I'm not planting churches or I'm not directly ministering to people and it can feel like, oh, well, <laughs> you're not doing a good job. If you were only different, you could do more. And I know those lies are so powerful because I've believed those in the past. And this year is, is one of those years where I've sat down and I've gone, God, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a church planter. I'm a videographer. Use me, if it be your will. Here I am. And the fact that Cornerstone is supporting me. The fact that different people have, have supported me financially. The fact that different people are praying for me all over the world. The fact that people invested in my life and, and have brought me to where I am today. The fact that um, God has just opened up all of these doors again and again and again and again. And I don't know what the next... What do I do when I come home? You know, I, I've spent 110 days off and I should have been... The world says I should be working on my business and making money and getting all of this, these things and, and working towards what the American dream or the worldly dream is. And, and it's scary because I don't know. I mean, who knows what's going to happen in Honduras? Who knows what's going to happen when I return? I don't know. But God knows. And so as I leave for this trip, this 110 days in Honduras, there's something that, there, that, that I can't describe and that is an everlasting, never-ending peace about this. That it's exactly where God wants me. Not as a pastor. Not as someone else with different gifts. He wants me and what he's given me and the talents and the gifts and the the videos that I'm creating. And so I'm excited. I'm terrified. But I'm passionate about just giving the Lord whatever this is. And it doesn't mean I'm perfect. But I'm so excited. 
about seeing how God can use broken people in the midst of his kingdom to build it up into where and what and just to glorify his name. And Jesus told stories and I want to be able to capture and tell other people's stories of how Jesus is working in and through them. So, here I am, Lord. I don't know what the future is, but let's go. Here I come, Honduras. Here I come, God.